At the University of Florida Whitney Laboratory for Marine Bioscience, we've expanded our environmental restoration efforts into fisheries using modern scientific approaches. The one thing that we're really trying to do is restore the balance uh, back to our natural ecosystem so that they can be more resilient uh, to future insults. The whole idea is basically to restore uh, our coastal ecosystems to what they were in the past and what our you know, parents and grandparents grew up with. Dr. Leonardo Ibarra Castro is successfully hatching and rearing a number of local game fish species for reintroduction into local habitats, like spotted sea trout, redfish, red snapper, and other marine fish with commercial importance. Dr. Ibarra is uh, what I call the fish whisperer. He um, is an amazing uh, talent at rearing fish, and the reason for that primarily is that um, he has taken a very scientific approach to it. All of them have different Thing because the develop is not same in all the marine species. They have a special shelling and you need to observe all the time because they have different times of develop. So by paying attention to the animal's own physiology, he's able to increase the efficiency of fertilization rates and success rates. I put so much attention in how they develop and sometimes I feel that I know each one when my little kids say, oh, daddy, all of them are the same. How do you know them? Dr. Ibarra Castro grows the food, or microalgae, that feeds the larvae that become the best form of nutrition for each species of fish at various stages of their life cycles. After hatch, you need to calm the hour to open the mold. It depends on what temperature you have will be the development of the larvae and you need to stay there shaking. You need to have microalgae, you need to have enriched rotifer, used for the time that you need to give them. And that's why it's very important when they hatch because you start to prepare the live food for them. As educators, what we would like to do is try to optimize the procedure as much as possible and then teach other people how to do this. The reintroduction of these native species to our local waters will allow the game fish population to thrive once again affecting tourism with application for commercial fisheries worldwide. These same uh, principles and processes and procedures that we're developing right now could easily be used for a large-scale commercial aquaculture. While our program is successfully developing, it is also growing. So what he needs is a, a, some outdoor tanks that he can control the temperature of the water so that he can take animals and cool the water down like it's wintertime and then warm it back up like it's springtime and then the animals will spawn. And if he has enough space, and if I can provide enough space, I mean, he will be able to do that with multiple species. The principal goal for everybody here in Winnipeg is try to have a brewstock area. That's why we are trying to work all together in one big project for put all the pieces of the puzzle. We have developed a really strong sort of fish group here at Whitney where we have physiologists, biomechanics, uh, molecular biologists. So there's a lot of really cool basic science um, that my faculty here can already um, do that nobody else can really do anywhere in the world because Leonardo is providing all this great material for our researchers to, to follow up on. To learn more and support our fish aquaculture program, visit us online, whitney.ufl.edu.